Good afternoon. We are teeing micro lens using NanoScribe. Lens system is in our everyday life, like camera lens and glasses. Recently, there's a growing trend to miniaturize our lens system for an easier device integration with a CMOS detector. Um, also in biology, there's also significance to reduce the size if you work in endoscope. An ideal lens system requires two things. First, ability to make an arbitrary shape and curvature lenses. Second, ability to assemble and align multiple lenses together with arbitrary distance. Here, I survey several different uh, lens fabrication techniques and ask a question whether or not low technique can meet two requirements. Unfortunately, none of them can make an arbitrary shape and it's really hard to make an ensemble uh, lens system with multiple lenses. Meta lens can provide an arbitrary face pickup and sh arbitrary shape, basically. But if we're trying to stack multiple lenses together, it usually results in low efficiency because of the lack of the anti-refraction coating. So here we bring our superhero NanoScribe to cheap both requirements. NanoScribe is a 3D laser printing technique. It can polymerize the resin using laser and two photon laser. Compare with the one photon laser, 2P allows us to a tinier laser focus. It results in a sharper pencil in a 3D canvas. And you can basically scan your cover mirror and the, the, the piezo stage to make arbitrary 3D shape. So here we demonstrate two benchmarks using NanoScribe. First, we've made a functional lens. In our optics and SCN image, you can clearly see the shape of the single lens. And we also match our uh, simulation with the experiment. So here's a point spray function in the image. The second benchmark we've made is the ability to assemble multiple lens stack together. The example here we show is the 4F system miniaturized. So in our poster session, we will guide you all the way through the simulation to the optical evaluation. So I hope you guys can pick some tip along the way. For example, in file generation, we tweak a little bit on parameter and solve the misalignment issue. In the writing, uh, writing process, we solve the problem of a collapse and defect problem and reach a better writing quality. Uh, we also uh, optimize the dose by swapping the scan speed and laser power. It results in some condition with a much better smoothness under the SEM. You can see easily that a larger laser power resulting a better surface quality. Finally, the post processing allows us to reach a more homogeneous surface by UV ozone. So I'd like to thank all the mentors in SNF uh, for this amazing class and please visit our website.